hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can revive your synthetic wig so this something you like to watch then keep on watching okay so i got my synthetic wig right here as you can see it's very matted and tangly and the ends are super dry and super uh crunchy and hard and stuff like that so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to comb this wig out and then we're going to wash it and stuff. that I got my wig super smooth and brushed out I'm just going to go and wash it so okay so I'm back with my water and stuff like that this um hot water these are only in gray okay this is my mic so don't worry about that okay so this is the only ingredient you're gonna need all you're gonna need is some shampoo, some cleansing shampoo, and I'm taking the Sheolicious um, cleansing balm. It's a sulfate-free hydrating shampoo, so I'm gonna be taking that. You can also use a silicone shampoo and like a natural shampoo, which is um, Dr. Broner's, and I'm gonna be taking some downy uh, fabric softener. So I'm just gonna put a squirt in here with some squirts in here to get that nice and saturated okay next one we going in with my down tea my downy fabric softener I'm just going to put a little bit in here I don't want to overdo it I'm just going to put a little bit of fabric softening in there. And now I'm going to I'm going to take this wig and I'm just going to dip it in there. Clean the part from because it got a lot of dirt and build up. You want to clean around it. So I'm going to just take um, my shampoo. I'm going to take some of this and just clean the part area. You want to do it soft. Don't do it. Don't rough it up like this. Just go ahead and do it really soft. And just clean apart because it got a lot of build up dirt and stuff. And you want to clean the edges as well from all the edge control and stuff like that. So I'm gonna sit in there for at least five to ten minutes and I'll come back with an update. Okay, y'all. So this is it's been about five minutes and this is the wig so far so i'm gonna just take it so far now i'm just gonna um go and rinse it out and I'll be right Okay, 
okay y'all i'm back so this is the wig i'm just gonna move this bucket and place it on this towel and just dry it off a little bit I'm gonna brush it out from the ends all the way up. washed the wig and combed it out and stuff it feels much better the ends feel a little better um so now i'm just going to let this wig air dry for a couple of hours and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna flat iron it and give y'all the finished look of this wig hey guys so i'm back um with this wig, it's been a couple of days. Um, I just let this wig air dry um, for a couple of days. And yeah, so it's completely dry now. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take my flat iron and flat iron this wig really quickly. And I also got my hot comb, so just to go over it. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to just section this off in two pieces. And I'm going to just take this and brush the wig out really good. And I'm going to just pin this wig, I mean this part up. So I'm going to just twist it and just pin. I'm gonna just pin this back. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a section from the back, put this to the back, comb this out, and just slightly flat iron it so this flat ironing really don't have no temperature on here but it do get pretty hot but not too hot where this um we can take it because we this is that it we can only go up to 400 degrees so i'm just going to take this and just slowly bring it down see how straight it is and when you flat on it see how in the beginning the ends was really crunchy and stuff I can easily easily run my fingers through this wig now so I'm gonna just brush this out just to make it and there we go now let me do another section so I'm just take this section Brush it out. And just flat iron it slowly. And I'm gonna just take that and brush it out some more. As you can see, the ends look much better than they did at first. They look so much better. I can easily run. They so soft. At first, they was hard and crunchy and stuff. So, I mean, just when you have a synthetic wig, please don't throw it away. Because I used to throw my synthetic wigs away after they get um, bad and matted and stuff. But... 
I learned that oh you can actually revive this wig and stuff so yeah So I finished the first section, looks really nice. See the ends are super straight. I can literally run my fingers through this wig with no problem, y'all. Super straight. Okay, so I'm gonna do this other side off camera and I'm gonna come back. the final results. This wig looks brand spanking new. It's really good. I can easily, easily run my fingers through this wig. And by the way, this is the um, Camel Lace wig that I reviewed previously. So if you want to check out that video and see how it, um, see how it was when I first got it versus now. Then you can check that video out. I'll leave it in the description box below. But other than that, um, this is the final result. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, peace.